K. Um, I just decided to get a shot of Zeb getting into his uh, Subaru. Uh, what year? 93. 93. Okay, you can't really see that license plate. Let's get down there. Okay, let's see if it starts. He had a little trouble starting it. You got it. First try. All right. Go Ohio cast. No big deal. Bike rack. I wonder how long he's had that on there. Actually, he said he's been biking a lot lately. So. All right. So that's your shot of Zebulon Miller, Oak Town represent. I wonder who's more. I wonder who who's more famous from Oak Harbor. Um, Zeb Miller. Or Crystal Bower Sox. Close your door. All right. Close the door. Left. All right. Left? Uh, left, yeah. Left Left to be good. Okay, we're leaving Smith Hall, Catfish Biffs. But there's a, uh, here's the thing. There's a Michigan Street in Columbus, Ohio. There is, and I, I think it's um, one of the most hated streets. Actually, I don't even know if anyone really cares that much. Really? I, I always wondered that, actually, since I, was, since I was a freshman. Just wondered... What goes on if that if that's the street where the couches got burned and the cars got flipped? Um, that's a nice looking truck. I'm just glad my car's running in that street. Yeah. You know, there's something to say about right or just straight. No, just straight. What's there something to say about what? Well, just about comfortable cars. It's just like you know, you don't want to move out of the home you've been living in for a while. No, I mean, you know, it's, it has it has a comfy feel to it. It does. I mean, you just, know, there's a humble abode. I wonder if there's a, a name for a car like this. A humble whip. A humble whip? It's yeah. A whip. Do you ever live down here or anywhere? Or? Um, I actually did live right on that 8th, 8th Street we just passed. How was that? Was it epic? It was, actually. There's, you there's, there's actually some very interesting stories from that from that. Are they, are they camera I, stories or not? Uh, not camera stories, no. Not, not camera stories. Um, Oh, one of them is though. Uh, if we actually, we might we might as well just take a lap. Let's take a lap. lap. Let's, let's take a right up here on Highland, okay. um, after the first church of the Nazarene. Never went there, but take a right here, okay? And then we're gonna go right by my apartment, my sophomore year. So we just we just went to Smith Hall where I lived my freshman year. Okay. And uh, and now we're gonna go to where I lived my sophomore year. We're gonna take it right up here um, on Eighth. Right on Eighth. Okay, so right now we're driving down Highland on Ohio State's campus, South Campus. Just, just off. And here, here's here's the connection. Uh, here's the beginning of the built the apartment complex. So if you go right, right here. This is the beginning of the complex. And see these this huge, huge porch, porch, uh, porches right here, connected porches. This is where we live, right up 151, right up here. And on those porches is where my bike was locked. And uh, someone really wanted that bike bad. And yeah, take it right. Let's go they back want home. Bike, they wanted the bike bad enough that they ripped the wooden porch, <laughs> uh, the wooden wooden porch piece that was um, lo locking my bike into the porch. So they took the piece of wood out, which allowed them to get the bike was freely. Was it a good bike? The funny thing is, I think the joke's on them because it was a very nice looking bike. Maybe it even looked expensive, but little did they know because they're um, probably thieves, probably a moron and not very high IQ level. Yeah. They uh they stole a about a $27 Walmart bike <laughs> that, that 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 was that was very very heavy, almost as heavy as, as a small car. Oh, okay. Because it, <laughs> here's the question. Had you come out and caught them in mid thievery, I guess is what I would say. What would you have done? You know what? I have never been would in you a have, would in you a, have in headlocked a, in a, one of them. I have never been in a fight in my life and I don't really like confrontation, but at that point, I probably would have had to probably soup someone off the porch, you know? <laughs> no, I, 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 I probably definitely would have made a citizen's arrest for sure. A I, citizen's they, arrest? They would have got, they would have got bully doubled. They would have got, they would have got, uh, So we got a soup, a bully double, and a citizen's they, arrest. They would have, they would have definitely. Which one is it, dude? They would have been manhandled, for sure. Manhandled. They would have been, they would have been taken down to the, uh, the, the porch. Yeah. <laughs> they would, they would have been, what, what, Terry Tate, office linebacker style? Yeah. Most, mostly Terry Tate, and uh, and it would have been ugly, and then the, then the police would have called, and they would have been arrested. Okay, you live just, we're at the very southwest part of campus, right? Yeah, now now south, exactly. Grandview, Grandview basically is, uh, is basically off the southwest corner of Ohio State property. 
Um, this uh, company we're passing right here is Battelle. They deal a lot with. Actually, you know what? Do you zoom in enough? You might want to zoom out now. Uh, I'm gonna people get nauseous. I'm going to zoom out. Yeah, sorry about the shakes there. Like Michael J. Fox had the camera for a second. My bad. Wow, that was tasteless. That that was that was inappropriate. Yeah, was I love tasteless. Michael J. Fox. Um, no, actually, uh, tell me about Patel. The, I mean, the, you're talking. The president, the uh, actually President Bush and President Obama have been there, but it's never announced just for security reasons. But a lot of uh, what do they do? A lot of high high level um, scientific projects are done in there. I actually don't Old remember. Old Tangy River. Old Tangy River. Let's get a good shot. left here. So we're going to take a left on Olin Tangy. Um, Let's not totally show people where you live. How about that? Oh, good point. Yeah, you're right. Um, so I live somewhere behind these buildings. <laughs> and that's the old varsity club? Uh, How about this, this coming is up actually, right? This is actually a shame. This is Bob Evans where I eat very often with Travell and the other big guys. Um, this used to be... Oh, it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of a shame that that, that heap, heap of dirt and metal it used to be the bucket hall of fame cafe there is no more they're actually they're not having a hall of fame anymore at ohio state they're just going to get rid of the whole thing no one's going to be inducted and uh it's kind of sad so there goes my chances i guess uh, well i guess you're just gonna have to win a world title now yep fair i enough. think i made a wrong turn so no no you're doing right we're gonna take it right up here okay. but uh but no so i live somewhere um in this region southwest of ohio state campus in grandview but uh but yeah, it's it's been good. Zeb, you're doing a great job driving, by the way. Thanks, Jeannie. All right, you're well, swell. <laughs> well, things are coming down today. I'll talk to you later, buddy. All right, buddy.